Kansas City has um, introduced a bid to become a sanctuary city for trans people. Missouri has introduced some of the most restrictive laws surrounding gender affirming care in the United States and um, Kansas City is the biggest city in the state. So it'll be very interesting to see where this one goes. In April, Missouri introduced legislation that would make access to gender affirming care for all trans people, including adults, nearly impossible with hoops, including mandatory therapy and three years of medically documented dysphoria to jump through before receiving care. And one of the key things we talked about in this bill was that you can't have any comorbidities as far as mental health diagnoses. Those must be addressed and remedied before you can begin gender affirming care. And, you know, for most of us, like eight, with ADHD, that's not something that you can just cure. That's something that you treat regularly. So to make curing something a prerequisite for gender affirming care, in effect, makes it impossible to acquire gender affirming care. The LGBTQ plus commission of Kansas city explained that the legislation would create municipal municipal policy around access in the city of Kansas city. So locals would receive vital health care. The bill will now go to a committee before a public hearing. The LGBTQ plus commission previously released a letter urging the city to pass legislation, declaring it a safe haven for trans health care. There are several states, counties, and cities who have passed legislation codifying the right to receive and have access to gender affirming care into law, it read. In, this, in the city of Kansas City, we must take every action at our disposal to be proactive, reduce harm, and ensure that Kansas Cityans have access to life-saving health care.